What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So today I wanna to talk about my diet when I was losing the bulk of my weight. And the reason I wanna talk about this is actually I wanna talk about why I don't speak about it that much. A lot of you guys know, I've talked about it a little bit on the channel before, but there was a time where I really struggled with binge eating and this type of dieting that I was doing, you know, dieting that I was doing, um, I think led me to that. And so that's why I don't really speak about it that much. Much because I always want to be a good example and I want to share helpful information with you guys on the channel and I think that that's like if I were to speak about that in a positive light that wouldn't be good um, so this video is going to be what I was doing and why I think it's not the right way to go. Before we do get into the meat of the video, I wanna say if you're someone that might be struggling with binge eating or you might be might have struggled with it in the past, um, you know, I wanna put a little bit of like a, a trigger warning, you know, I just, if you're someone that struggles with that, this might not be the best video for you to watch. So I would, you know, I would click off right now if that's something that you are struggling with or you're worried about. When I first started losing weight, I actually did what I have coined as the common sense diet. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you will understand what this is. But basically, I cut out soda, which I drank a lot of soda. I was drinking probably over a two liter of soda a day, like easily. Um, fast food and junk food. And honestly, that was a lot of what I was eating at the time. Now, as far as like the common sense diet goes, I think that there's, that's honestly a good way to go for a lot of people, you know, cutting out really unnecessary foods that you don't need in your diet. The issue that I started having was that I started to make calories evil in my mind. And it wasn't even like healthy or unhealthy calories. It was like I had to avoid calories in general at all costs. And I would only eat when I was like starving. And it got to a point where if I ever felt full, I felt like I made a mistake and that I was doing something wrong. And so like that's where the issues started coming. Now this is why I'm such a huge proponent of learning about dieting, learning about nutrition, learning about calories, because if I had that knowledge at that point, I don't think I would have made the same mistakes or at least made the mistakes for such a long period of time because this lasted for a while and it's honestly what help me lose the bulk of my weight. Now, it's not something that I'm proud of and I don't ever advise it for anybody else, um, but it is what I did. Now, do I think there are better ways to lose weight? Absolutely. Are, are those the things that I promote on this channel? Absolutely. But at the same time, I don't wanna sit here and lie and, and say that I did something else. Um, I've been pretty transparent about that, but it, you know, it's, it's definitely something I'm not super proud of, but if I didn't go through all of those things, I wouldn't be where I am now. So how it started for me was I, I would see the results I was having eating, you know, maybe 2,200 calories. You know, at, at this time I wasn't really tracking, so it's hard to say the exact amount of calories, but I saw the results I was getting at that. And then, so I thought, okay, what if I cut the calories down even more? I'll probably lose weight even faster. What if I cut them even more? I'll probably lose weight even faster. And guess what? I was losing weight very fast. But at the same time, I was learning absolutely nothing when I was doing this. All I was learning and all I was reinforcing was that calories are bad and the less that I have, the better I do as far as losing weight is concerned. Now, if you heard that and thought to yourself, wow, that's really not going to work well in the long run, I agree with you 100%. I would never, ever, ever advise someone to do that because it is playing with fire and it it is not worth, oh, I'm gonna lose weight fast and then I'll learn how to have a healthy relationship with food. That is not the way to go and that is not what I am advising here at all. Now I'm gonna share what I was eating at pretty much the lowest point of my journey. Now again, if you are struggling with food, I would say maybe skip ahead or don't watch this part. But I do wanna share what I was doing and say that if you are struggling with this, there is a way out. So for me, a normal day for a few months was I would wake up, I would eat one packet of oatmeal, the 100 calorie packets with no sweetener. It was just straight plain oatmeal with water. That would be my breakfast. And then I would eat nothing until about lunchtime. And I was working two jobs at this time. I was working at Vaughn's and at Van's Shoe Store. I know it's kind of funny. Vaughn's is a, a local grocery store. So I would work, I would usually work at Vaughn's first and then I would work at Van's later. So when I was working at Vaughn's, I worked in the meat department. And so I'd, I'd work all day. Actually, it was 
pretty, it was kind of like manual labor a little bit. We would get shipments in every day of these boxes that are like 80 to 100 pounds just full of meat and we would have to move them into the freezer and stuff. Uh, so it wasn't just a sedentary job, right? So I'm doing that job and then lunchtime would come around and I'd go to the produce department. I would get one apple and then they had these little pre-made salad things that are maybe about 300 calories at the most. And then I would get a like a zero calorie drink. And that's what I would eat for lunch. After that, I would work. Sometimes I would go to Vans and work. I didn't work. Vans was a very part-time job. Uh, but then for dinner, sometimes I would make another salad with just like pre-cooked chicken and just some like random, you know, lettuce or whatever I would have at home. Or like it, say if my, this is when I was living with my mother, if my mom had made dinner, I would make, I would take a really small portion of that and that would be my dinner. And that's what I ate pretty much every day for a while. Again, not enough food. Now, luckily for me, this was before I was actually like working out. So I didn't have like that appetite yet. But then for me, it kind of almost self adjusted once I started working out. Now it was a long process and it took a while. Um, that's when I started really developing like binge eating because when I started working out, I was so much hungrier that I would go, you know, three, four days doing really well. Again, that's in quotes because I was eating too little. And then I would binge like crazy on five, six, seven thousand calories in a sitting uh, because I, my body was just so hungry. Hungry. Um, but then once I found out what was actually going on, like I didn't even know that binge eating was a thing. I just thought that I was failing, you know, I realized that I need to start adding more calories daily and then my weekly calories will be closer to where they need to be. Uh, because if you're eating, you know, 600, 600, 600, but then you're eating 7,000, you're not going to be losing any weight or you might even be gaining weight because of how much you're eating on that one day that you binge. So, you know, once I started finally slightly increasing the calories, it really, really helped me a lot be able to get over binging. But again, very clear. That is not me trying to fix it for you. Everyone is different. So if you are struggling with that, I would say speak to someone and, and really figure out something that will work for you personally. I understand that some people might be watching this video and thinking to themselves, why did you even share this? What is the point of this video? For me, I think the reason that I wanted to share it is I want people to understand that if your journey, if you feel like there's all these, you have all these valleys and there's not many peaks for you and you feel like you're just struggling really hard and you don't think that it's gonna work out, I was there and I, it's been, you know, I've been able to keep the weight off for six years now. And I really do think that it is possible for a lot of people to do this as well. You just have to fight through those valleys. Losing weight is really hard and keeping that weight off is also really hard, but there, there is a point that you get to, to where it's not a daily struggle anymore and that it, it just becomes your life. And you're not always thinking about food. You're not always thinking about, you know, calories, things like that. That's where I am now. And I truly want everyone that is trying to lose weight or trying to improve their lives in any healthy fashion to get to that point because that's where the magic happens. That's when you're not feeling like, I don't think I can sustain this. That's when you get to the point you're like, yeah, this is just my life. I don't even struggle with it anymore. I just enjoy living and enjoy being able to do everything that I want to do. So if you're currently trying to lose weight right now and you're struggling, I just want you to know that <laughs> Everyone has struggles when they are trying to lose weight. Everyone, I mean, it's a journey for a reason. There, there are ups and downs in that. I really think that you can get through it. So hopefully this video was able to share a little bit of real life and, and, and show you guys that losing weight is not all butterflies and rainbows. It is very, very hard. It is the hardest thing I have ever done, uh, but it is also the most rewarding thing I've ever done. I truly think I've added years and years to my life. I've added a lot more enjoyment. I'm able to do so many more things because I lost the weight. So if you are trying to do it, I truly believe in you. And I think that if you are struggling right now, that's okay because everyone is going to have struggles. Before we end the video, I just want to say, if you guys have not checked out my podcast, I would really, really appreciate it. You guys have been showing a lot of love and I really appreciate that. I do it with my brother. It's called Work for Change. I'll put a link down in the description. We have we do videos, so it's on YouTube, but it's also on any podcast platform pretty much that you can think of. Uh, so if you have an iPhone, if you have an Android, whatever, you'll be able to download it and listen to it. Uh, but with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There was one other thing that I wanted to say. Oh, yeah. Look how buff I am. <laughs> well, you can't really tell because I'm, I'm wearing a jacket, but I promise I'm very buff. <laughs> Obey the warning signs, and when there are flashing lights or wigwags, 
don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop.